Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Line Topics. Toy Abraham was formerly known as Toy Aimaku, now she's Toy Abraham at JME. She was born on September 5, in 1984. She's from Aochi Etako West, local government area of Edo State, Nigeria. But she grew up in Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State in southwestern Nigeria. She's the daughter of the late pastor B.E. Aimaku, who passed on in October 22, 2017. She also has a sister by the name Fatima Aimaku. She shares quite an enviable relationship with her brother, Mrs. Aimako. So, Abraham is the youngest child in a family of five. She attended St. Anne's Secondary School where she used to drum. She was a drummer girl, then she played handball and football as well. She revealed that she was even in the Oyo State team back in those days. So, he says that even though she came from a poor family, she believes that it was still fun. According to her, she grew up in a small community like a village. But it was fun because they were so healthy, they ate fresh food, and there was nothing to worry about. This actress also has a national diploma in marketing from Ire Polytechnic, and she also obtained a higher national diploma certificate in marketing from Ibadan Polytechnic before she proceeded to Olabisi Onubanjo University, where she received a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. This actress revealed that her journey to stardom started in the year 2003 when Bookie Wright visited Ibadan to shoot a movie. Walter he was hopping out on set and she eventually had to fill in for a missing actress. Over the years, she has produced, directed and featured in several Nigerian films such as Alan Ibaba Labake and Ebimini. She was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in the Yuba film titled Ebimini at the 2013 Best of Nollywood Awards alongside Joke Muiwa who was nominated for Best Lead Actress in the Yuba film titled Aitale. This beautiful actress has one other thing going for her and it's a natural look. While many of her colleagues think that the key to beauty lies in the bottom of their makeup bag, this actress has a different perception. After 17 years in the movie industry, Toya has acquired a reputation for being herself and someone that's not necessarily flamboyant. Toya Marco confessed that she has a penchant for looking and smelling good. Speaking on her Instagram live session, she said, She's also not in competition with anyone, but she's in competition with herself. She recently won Best Actress Award at this year's AMVCA for her role in the movie Elevator Baby. In her words, I don't want to be better than anybody, rather I want to be better than I was yesterday. I want to be better than who I was before now. I'm in competition with myself. Also, commenting on her fashion routine, this is Badum Bon actress stated clearly that she's not that kind of woman that likes to wear makeup or earrings. According to her, following a moderate lifestyle, she had to close down a lipstick business. In her words, my husband likes fashion, but I'm not that kind of woman that likes to wear makeup and dress flamboyantly. That's why I had to close down my lipstick business. I just want to look good and smell nice. I don't like wearing makeup and I don't wear earrings. Whatever my stylist gives me is what I will wear. I'm not crazy about fashion. Everybody knows that I'm not a fashion person, she said. Though Tony confessed that she's not crazy about fashion, those who graced this year's AMVC year were stunned with her voluminous ball dress designed by the celebrity stylist Tony Lawani, which was regarded as one of the outstanding outfits at the event. Let's talk about her personal life. This beautiful actress is married to another film actor. Kola Wole at GM, and they are blessed with a son. But Tony is also a mother to her stepdaughter, Kola Wole at GM's daughter, who is a teenage girl. So Tony is a mother to two kids. Tony also revealed that she was seven months and two weeks pregnant for a baby boy when the movie that won her the Best Actress Award was shot in Lagos State. Also, confessing on what marriage has done for her, this actress revealed that marriage for me is a new experience and it has really changed me. I'm grown and I'm a woman indeed. My marriage to a very mature man has changed my life. I'm no longer the toying people used to know, she tweeted. On relationship, Toyin believes that there is no perfect man, neither is there a perfect woman. A man can be perfect for you and he's not perfect for me. What I usually tell people is to pray whenever you are going into any relationship. This is because it's not about the looks, rather it's about who God has assigned to you. What women want is love, care and attention. Once they get them, you can go for any man, she advised. So he also stressed that people should stop judging other people based on their pasts. This actress took to her Instagram in January 2020, this year, 
to share what appeared to be a muse for the day. According to her, people should rather concentrate on helping other people overcome the rough side of their past while supporting them to turn things around for good again. She wrote, everybody has a past, some more intense than others. Stop using their past to judge them. Everyone has done something they are not proud of. So when people want to change, support them and help them grow. Stop judging, she wrote. Tony also shared another inspirational quote that people will continue to have different opinions about you no matter how much you try to be likable. So focus on becoming your best self than defending what you are not. Everyone will not like you, she said. Also, in May for our Mother's Day celebration, Tony shared a never seen before video during her childbirth as she celebrated Mother's Day. According to her, the exciting journey to motherhood was the reason she recorded the scenes from her childbirth. Also a month ago, Twain revealed in an interview with Stud on TVC that she lived mindlessly for a period of time, living in hotels paid from her acting gigs. This beautiful actress also revealed that she dreaded her family back then as she's from a Christian home and she smoked cigarettes. She also avoided her family as she didn't want to get too attached to them because she believed she would die soon. The Alakada star recounted how she had even begun to plan a funeral and imagine the crowd that would show up for her. In her words, I used to sit down and tell myself, Tony, if you die now, imagine the kind of crowd that will come. You will now be more popular. Oh, yes, I was looking at the crowd that will come to my funeral, she said. That was a moment of depression in her life. And she shared this walk with depression so that she could encourage other people to, to come out of any darkness that they are experiencing in their lives. Tony has received several awards and endorsements. She was nominated for Best Actress and Best Movie Award at Ben TV in 2014 and AMAA Awards and so much more. She also signed a multi-million dollar endorsement deal with a popular tech company in the year 2014, which was her very first popular endorsement. She has featured in numerous movies, including Alani Baba Labake, Sholafi Okbami, Love is in the Head, Okafor's Law, Wala Kada, Ghost and the Tout, among others. This beautiful actress also confessed that she had an awesome year in the year 2019. According to her, it has been a beautiful year. I can say it has been one of my years so far. I had my baby late last year so that welcomed me to motherhood and my movie was also coming out so it's a beautiful and wonderful year she said. Also, the birth of her son and her first child in the year 2019 was celebrated in the media for a long time. On how mother would do, she said, it's not something easy. When I saw Moti and Omoni, I told them that I respect them more now. I think I love and adore them more now. I told Mercy Johnson the same thing. It's not easy. All you see is just pictures. You just see family pictures and videos. It is not easy. But you thank God because I'm happy, very, very happy. But it's not just easy, she said. Also, according to Toyin, the very first Alakada movie will remain a favorite because of the memories that it was associated with. According to her, the movie reminds her of a late friend, B.C. Komolafe. Since Toyin Abraham's debut in the industry in the year 2003, Toyin has not looked back in her bid to rule the screen. She's one of the actresses who is good at what she's doing. Toyin Abraham with a lovely family. We are coming to the end of this episode on this Yoruba actress, Tony Abraham. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.